What's up everybody, I'm Seth Fowler and today I'm reviewing the brand new Adidas Ultra Boost 4.0 Cookies and Cream. Thanks so much for tuning in today guys. Make sure to give me a follow on Instagram and on Twitter at RealSethFowler. Also make sure to give me a follow on Twitch at Seth Fowler. But with all that out of the way, let's get into it. Once again guys, I gotta apologize. This cold has lasted a lot longer than I expected and my voice is actually worse than it was in the last couple videos. So I'm sorry, but you know what? We're powering through, we're gonna make it happen. Thank you so much to Adidas for sending this pair over in that crazy promotional packaging. If you guys haven't seen that unboxing yet, make sure to check it out at the link at the top of the screen. But as I'm sure you know by now, the Ultra Boost is a force in both the lifestyle and the running category of sneakers. It's a great looking shoe with a bunch of excellent colorways and the 4.0 is just a refinement on that excellent sneaker. So without further ado, here it is, the Adidas Ultra Boost 4.0 Cookies and Cream. Right off the bat, I've got to say that this color blocking is definitely a little bit different than what we're used to seeing with the Ultra Boost. On most colorways, the cage and the heel counter match or are exactly the same color, but on the Cookies and Cream colorway, they really changed it up by making this a really contrasty shoe. Even though realistically, this is just a white and black sneaker, the shoe does pop because of the color blocking. Jumping right into the shoe, we've got our standard Ultra Boost 4.0 Prime Knit Upper. As I've said multiple times, I think the 4.0 Prime Knit Upper is my favorite just because it's very comfortable while still calling back to the original 1.0 Prime Knit pattern, which I think looks the best. So in my opinion, it's really a nice mix between performance and style. On this particular colorway, you can't really see that Ultra Boost 1.0 arrow that you can see on some of the other 4.0 colorways. And that's also another thing I like about this Prime Knit pattern because it really allows for some variation. As you can tell, the upper consists of almost a static sort of colorway. It's got blacks and whites woven throughout the Prime Knit. I mean, you can definitely understand the inspiration behind the shoe. It's got that very sort of cookies and cream ice cream look to it. For me, this black and white Prime Knit pattern is my favorite part of the shoe. Continuing up on the sneaker, you've got these flat white laces with black speckles throughout. Of course, that's to match the prime knit and it almost has this camouflage effect so when you're wearing the shoe you sometimes lose the laces visually that's not really a big deal or anything special it's just something that I noticed at the top of the tongue you've got your standard Adidas performance logo inside the shoe you've got your standard ultra boost sock liner this time around in white the sock liner will definitely get dirty fast but because it's a sock liner and because no one's really gonna see it when it's on your foot it doesn't really matter rounding out the inside of the shoe you've got your black insole with your white boost text as for fit there's nothing really out of the ordinary this fits just like any other ultra boost sneaker I'd suggest going true to size but if you wear a different size of Ultra Boost because you like a looser fit or a tighter fit, go with whatever size you're used to. Moving back on the sneaker, as I mentioned before, you've got this bright white midfoot cage. This is where I'm a little bit torn on the sneaker because as much as I like the contrast and sort of pop that it provides, I think I really would have preferred it if it was a black cage because I think this crazy sort of speckly prime knit pattern is nice on its own. And with a black cage, it would sort of allow that to be the pop accent of the shoe. But with this white cage, your eye is immediately drawn here first. And that's fine. I don't think it's a bad thing, but I really would have preferred a more subtle or black colored cage. Or maybe even if they had just made the boost white and sort of allowed it to balance each other out. I'm not really sure. I don't think it looks bad. That's just my personal preference. Moving around to the back of the shoe, you've got your black sort of ridged heel counter with the Ultra Boost text in silver. Again, nothing's different with the performance aspects of this shoe. It's just a different colorway. Moving down the sneaker, you get to that crazy comfortable boost midsole. Boost is a super comfortable soft midsole technology that if you haven't tried yet, uh, guys, come on. You guys already know what I think about it. I think it's great. This time around, the boost is painted in this sort of dark asphalt gray. That was one other design detail that kind of threw me off a little bit. Because it's in this dark gray and not black, it's another sort of area that kind of draws your eye away from the upper of the sneaker. When you look at it up close, you can definitely tell that there's a color variation between the heel counter and the midsole of the shoe. I'm not sure what the reasoning was to go with this gray rather than a black. Again, I don't think it's a bad design choice. I just personally think it takes away a little bit from the upper of the shoe, which is my favorite part. Finally, moving to the bottom of the shoe, you get your Continental outsole in black. Overall, the Adidas Ultra Boost 4.0 Cookies and Cream is definitely a clean colorway, and if you're looking for a shoe that will pop without having any crazy colors, this is definitely the way to go. My favorite part of the sneaker is by far this Prime Upper. I think it looks incredible. I don't mind the other design details on the shoe, but if I had my choice, I might have simplified them a little bit and made this part the main standout feature of the sneaker. Once again, thank you to Adidas for sending over this care package. It really means a lot that you guys sent it my way. If you guys are looking to pick up a pair for yourself, the Ultra Boost 4.0 Cookies and Cream drops on March 6th for $200. Now, now that we've got the review out of the way, let's throw these guys on feet and see how they look. And now we have this triangle, square. 
Make sure to leave a comment in the comment section down below letting me know what you think of the Adidas Ultra Boost 4.0 cookies and cream and whether you're planning to pick up a pair for yourself on March 6th. And as always guys, thank you so much for watching. Please make sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to me, Seth Fowler, if you want to see more content just like this. And follow me in all other forms of social media. The links will be in the description below.